As we continue on developing the world around us, there always remains one big question. Is there any other life beyond this world that is possibly doing the same thing we are doing? Or can there be life beyond Earth? Different medias have developed theories about these extraterrestrial lives beyond Earth. Unfortunately, there is still not much information gained. <clears throat> After scientists' continuous effort, they did find some evidences of possible life. Now, possible is the key. All of you must be familiar with basic necessities of life water, appropriate climates, and oxygen. The planets having these necessities are known as Goldilocks zone. For example, Earth and Mars fall into this Goldilocks zone. This video will show you several things a habitable planet should have. First off, it's really important that the planets are distanced reasonably away from the parent star, which in our case is the Sun. The sun is a star, not the face of a magical baby like you see in the televisions, which this appropriate range to hold life from the parent star to the planets is known as the habitable zone. Think like this. The planet away from the sun is to a sesame seed, as the sun is to an orange 20 meters away. This helps planets to keep itself at the appropriate climates and sustain water. Even the scientists claim of the possibility of life on Mars, it is now considered within the habitable zone. If a planet is not in the habitable zone, the water within the planet will turn into vapor or stay frozen. Currently, Mars's water is frozen. Scientists discovered a new planet available to support life, Kepler-186f. Kepler-186f is a planet beyond our solar system, also known as an exoplanet. No girls, it's not a planet full of Dio, Chanel, or whoever in the group, so don't start packing up your stuff to go there. Kepler-186f rotates around this parent star, Kepler-186. It is a lot smaller than our sun. That's why a lot of the planets are located closer towards the star. By being closer to Kepler-186, a lot of these planets are not considered in the habitable zone. They are considered too hot for a life form to sustain life. Only Kepler-186f remains as the habitable planet throughout its whole system. The sizes of the planets is important because the sustainability of water depends on it. The planet needs to be large so that the planet's gravity can keep water molecules from flying across the universe. Earth's gravity keeps water molecules grounded and creates oceans. Kepler-186f is known for a similar size to Earth and this is proof of possible life. A similar size with Earth can lead to a similar gravitational pull of water creating geographic landscapes that resemble those of Earth. The existence of seasons is also important because they provide diverse conditions for more organisms to thrive. The types of seasons the Earth goes through differs by the amount of sunlight one portion of the Earth receives and because of its 23.5 degrees tilt. For example, if the Northern Hemisphere receives more sunlight than the Southern Hemisphere, then the Northern Hemisphere is going through summer and vice versa. In the case of Kepler-186f, its exile tilt is very small, being quite difficult to create tilt-based seasons like Earth and Mars. Just like how the moon stabilizes Earth's exile tilt, if a planet between it and Kepler-186e is discovered, it will increase the exile tilt and seasons might appear. Scientists still work hard to search for millions of undiscovered mysteries of space and try to find the possible life out there. After endless developments and experiments, one day we might find ourselves a similar neighbor. The answer to can there be life beyond Earth is yes.